Hi, Cancer. I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. And I am here doing your career, love, health, overall energy, even wealth, of course, right? Overall energy for the month of November 2018. I am kind of excited for you guys just because it seemed like even though I was talking about career choices for you and money and everything else in between, it's like love just took over <laughs> or something in regards to love or deep feelings or deep emotions. It just took over your entire reading. Okay, so I'm, you know, pretty confident at this point that this is what the universe needed you to hear. So I really hope that this resonates with you, if not all of you. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. If you would like something more personal just for you, then definitely email me, reach out to me. Drop a comment below, too. I want to know what you guys are thinking and what is what you guys are feeling when I'm talking about all of these different points, okay? So please be sure to drop your comments and questions below if you have any concerns. I want to know, you know, if there's any way that I can help you or to assist you with anything that you may be facing at this time, okay? Or if anything that you could be dealing with from the past, okay? So... Let's get into it. Please like and share this video around the world because I'm sure there's a cancer somewhere <laughs> dying to hear this particular message. So please, please share this message, okay? Let's go into it. So you have cards that is Talking a lot about following your heart this season. And not only are you in a position of following your heart, but you guys are manifesting some things when it comes to love, especially. Because I don't feel like money is going to be quite an issue for you this season. Or I don't feel like bills are going to be the issue for you. I feel like it is going to be love. And not in a way that you will have a broken heart, but in a way that it's going to be surprising, you know? Like, a lot of you have gone through so much, and sometimes it's hard for you to um, forgive someone for what they have done to you. And sometimes you... You cancer, you tend to hold on to things that you really need to just let go of. And the universe wants you to get clarity this season. So I feel like whatever you were inquiring about, that is what this season is about. You're literally going to be coming in contact with clarity this season. You will be receiving clarity about a love situation. Or if you had a question about a past life situation, anything regards to clarity is going to be your theme, okay? Clarity will help you not to be so emotional, not to be so sensitive, because now you better understand. So you won't be so um, sensitive. I mean, you may have a few days throughout the month where you may be a bit sensitive and um, you may feel like, you know what, I really want to be around my family. I love my family. Um, you know, there may be moments where a past lover may approach you this season and they may want to um, get to know you. They may want to not get to know you, but like, I mean, like, really get to know you. <laughs> like, in other words, they're going to be, like, um, wanting to know where you've been, what's going on, where you came from, what's been going on with you, is there anything new going on with you? They're going to be asking a lot of questions, you know? And a lot of you may and may not feel like putting up with this individual, okay? So for some of you, this could be family. For some of you, this could be an actual ex-lover that may return. And they are returning surprisingly in a different way that you could actually remember. Like, uh, it's something different about them. 
And I think that is what's going to scare you the most, is that you're not used, <laughs> you're not used to seeing this side of them, you know, um, or they just haven't done this for you in a really long time. Or you may be dealing with someone who reminds you of a particular person that you used to date or someone that is um, very familiar. Like you just feel like you, or if you're single, you may just run into a person that just feel like I know you from somewhere. And you may feel like you don't really know where you know them from. Um, so this could be spiritually, it could be just simply like a past life individual, someone that you're really, really attracted to, or someone you could be really annoyed by, but it is definitely someone from a past life experience, whether this is physical or spiritually, um, from another time, or this is literally from like two years ago, a year ago, um, six months ago, whatever it is, is someone that is returning from your past and they want you, okay? They want, they either want you back or they want closure with you, okay? Um, and like I said, this could be family, close friends. Um, this could be somebody trying to um, mend the broken relationship. Maybe they're trying to you know, put things back together the way it was. Um, I just sense a lot of that, especially with you having a lot of past life energy here. It's very tense. Like, when I pulled out the cards, I was like, wait. At first, I saw reconciliation in your love cards, and I was like, okay, maybe it's just an ex, you know? And then I was like, all right, let me put it back. And then you guys got undying love. In your overall guidance or overall advice, right? And then you guys also got past life. And both of these goddesses here represent, you know, um, this Isis, goddess Isis is really about, you know, um, being protective, you know, speaking the truth, standing up for what you feel, standing up for what you believe. And um, really just following your heart. Sorry, guys, I had, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like something had bit me. <laughs> it was itching. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I realized I was on camera. I was like, whatever, like my fucking back itch. Like, whatever. So, you guys, I know I'm very raw and I'm very real with you all. So, don't mind me, okay? You can laugh later. But listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> so... You have the past life card here, okay? And past life is literally what it is. It's somebody or something from your past coming up to the surface, okay? So this could be an old situation. And speaking of old, okay, when I... The reason why this is interesting to me is because the beginning of the month, right? And I didn't want to really talk about too much of the planets with you all because I know you have like a short, you know... Uh, <laughs> mind span, like, you, you guys need information, like, right now, like, you know, so, um, small attention span, that's what I was going to say, so, November 7th, we are dealing with that new moon in Scorpio, <laughs> that is your sister sign, so you should be excited, that is your sister sign, so you should be happy, you should be ready to, like, you know, save some money, go on trips, have a good time, be with family, you know, this may be the season where you just want to be extra, extra spiritual, you want to read more, you want to study, you might want to practice what you preach, who knows, I just feel like you guys are going to another whole level spiritually during this season, okay, because there's something from the past that is irking at your nerves, okay, something that is calling your attention, that is in dying need of your attention, something is coming up from the past, whether it is an individual, a situation, a past lover, a situation that you just can't stop thinking about or dreaming about or having thoughts about, something just won't let you go, and so it doesn't really surprise me because you are a cancer, and cancers have a hard time letting go of the past. So for some of you, you might be having intense emotions and feelings about the situation or about this individual, 
And may feel like you have to make a decision as to whether you want to backtrack or if you want to go forward. But this can also be about you guys reflecting on a situation that occurred in the past and maybe just kind of skeptical about getting into a new relationship, feeling really skeptical, feeling really nervous, um, not really feeling sure this is the right move. You know, and I felt like it's interesting to me, though, because I feel like your energy was very, very very similar for the month of October. And if you guys look at your October focus, you'll see what I mean. Like I talked a lot about the same things, about something, you know, needing to be letting go of, right? Like you guys moving on, moving forward, forgiving people for what they have done to you. Um, really just letting this whole negative energy go. Like, I feel like you guys are spiritually in a better place, but some of these things from the past needs to be resolved, okay? There is a conversation that needs to take place. So you may have to sit someone down or someone may need to sit you down and they may want to just build the beans. They, might, they may want to just talk about something that you are really, really sensitive about and instead of shutting them out or making them feel like you're not totally interested in that particular topic at that moment, um, the, you know, I feel like the universe wants you to dive in, you know, go deeper, to ask questions, to figure out why this person feels the way they feel, or to try to figure out why this situation even occurred the way that it did, right? I feel like you owe it to yourself to be honest with yourself, to be honest with others. I, you owe it to yourself. If nobody else knows the truth, you will know the truth, okay? So, I also see here, don't back down, okay? Goddess Bridget is one of those goddesses that is really strong, you know, really um, powerful. Um, she kind of means what she says, say what she means, you know. And if you guys want to have a closer look, look how intense that is, right? So I just wanted to show you guys how strong you guys really are this season. And that no matter how you feel, you can verbalize however you feel and speak your mind without hurting people, okay? So as I was trying to say before, November 7th, we had that new moon in Scorpio, very intense, very emotional, very sexy, very passionate. Get ready for new projects, new ideas, new relationships, new money, perhaps, or new ideas on how to make different money or more money, how to increase your finances. Oh, this is going to be brilliant during that, full moon, that new moon season, right? But what I wanted to let you guys know is that the 12th Mars is going to go into your other sister sign, Pisces. And so this is really pushing you not to be so stuck in the dream state, where this is pushing you to go after your dreams, to go after whatever you want, you know, to leave the past where it's at. The past can sometimes be beautiful, painful, hurtful. But the past can have so many amazing memories. And I feel like you're going to be blessed with a little bit of everything of those of that category um, this season. And the universe wants you to look at it with a different perspective. So you're going to go after whatever it is that you desire, but you're going to go after it in a different way. So you're not going to use the same old strategies. You're going to use everything that you have learned from the past or from this past experience to help you get to where you need to be, okay? I feel like a lot of you, because I see Archangel Hanyel is here as well, you know, talking about your different passions in life. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and in your career, okay? So when it comes to things that you love, things that you are passionate about, expect things from the past to really be coming in. And that is why I need to keep going. So November 7th, the new moon of Scorpio. The 12th of November, we have Pisces going, I mean, we have Mars going into Pisces. Um, and then 
the 22nd, we will have Thanksgiving here in the States. It's Thanksgiving. Ooh, ooh, we get to eat all that yummy, yummy food. We get to eat good, look good, smell good, eat all those good collard greens. That's all I really want. Like, I promise. That's all I really want. So, <laughs> I just got a taste for it. Oh, my God. It's, it hit November, and I've just been, like, craving some fucking collard greens. Oh, my God. I want some collard greens. So, long story short. The 22nd is Thanksgiving here in the States. Yay. Right? And then that same day, um, or that same week, rather, we will have a full moon in Gemini. That's going to bring a lot of logic to all these different emotions that you're feeling. But let me backtrack a little bit. November 16th, give or take a day, okay? Venus will go into his home sign Libra, which is really good for all of us. Oh, finally, money will begin to flow again, right? Uh, things will be released to us, things that we have been waiting for, praying for, excited for, begging for. <laughs> it's finally going to go, surprise, here I am. And with Jupiter hanging around, there's no wonder why we're not feeling too surprised, okay? So, Venus went into his home sign October 31st, but mind you, that first week of November, we're going to be dealing with that, that uh, full moon and Taurus energy. Yeah, like that whole first week of November, we're still going to be dealing with it. The Taurus full moon happened October 24th or 25th, give or take a day. That is when it occurred. And I don't know about you, but I was very fucking emotional for no reason. Like, I was pissed the fuck off. Like, I was very emotional. I was crying. I was just a hot fucking mess, right? But <laughs> the funny part about all of that is that in the midst of me being so emotional, I got a lot of clarity, okay? So I feel like that is, what's, is basically what's going to be happening to you for the next few weeks or even next month as well. In the month of December, oh yeah, when the sun, well the sun will go into Capricorn until January. But you guys will be still feeling that energy because you are Capricorn's opposite. So sometime next month, by the third week of December, you're really going to be like in your zone. You know what I mean? Like really, really feeling yourself, okay? Um... And I'm sorry to jump all over the place. It's just that I need you guys to understand all the different energy that's going on out here. So the 16th, after the 12th, we have, you know, Mars going into Pisces. We know that's good because we won't be so, like, emotional, too sensitive. We won't be so stuck in a dream state, right? Uh, we'll be more logical. We'll be making a lot more sense, making a lot more money. But the 16th, Venus is going to go direct. So that is like celebration time for everybody, right? But that's also the same day that new movie come out, too. I can't think of the name of it, but I, I was watching TV one day, and it talked about a new movie. That's interesting. But the 16th is also when Mercury goes retrograde. Ha! <laughs> Surprise! So as we get rid of this whole Venus retrograde business, right, the same day, three hours apart, four hours apart, give or take, right? Um, that is when Mercury is going to, like, hit us. <gasps> Here we go. <laughs> so, yes, expect some huge, huge surprises, but expect some huge, huge obstacles, okay? So, depending on what is in your birth chart determines what can actually happen, okay? So, this may be good, this may be bad for some of you. I don't know, you know? But I will tell you that this overall energy is going to be amazing. When it comes to your career, I feel like, you know, Archangel Ariel is here for you, okay? And so is Archangel Hanyel. She popped up twice. Twice. Look at this. Back to back. I'm not kidding. For passion and for moon cycles, my love. Archangel Hanyel, if you want to study who Archangel Hanyel is, I advise you to because she was very sweet and very delicate and devoted and she was like so like into monitoring her emotions and her feelings and she was just dedicated to do whatever she wanted to do. If you guys want to study Archangel Hanyel, I think you should. I think it will help you to understand yourself a lot more, right? But Archangel Hanyel is here. Archangel Ariel is here as well saying, listen, do not hold back. This is not the season to be holding back. Okay, the timing is perfecto. Okay, the timing is perfect, my love, and you are ready to soar like literally. Like, 
Notice how the moon affects your overall energy and manifestations. So pay attention around that 7th, my love, around the 7th or 8th, give or take a day of November, around that new moon in Scorpio, monitor your emotions, how you are feeling. What are you thinking about at that moment? Are you seeing repetitive numbers? What is going on with you? Are you dreaming about repetitive numbers? Are you dreaming about an ex-lover? I didn't say that. Okay? What's really going on? Because spiritually, you're like up here. You know what I mean? And then like emotionally, you're like right here. And when it comes to love, you're like right here. Right? But we want you to like go all the way up. Like we want you to like all the way up. Nobody can stop me. I'm all the way up. Like, that's that's how we want you, Cancer. We want you to be happy. So even in love, you know what's interesting about this card? I keep looking at it because you know what's interesting about this? Virgo, if I'm not wrong, I believe it was Virgo that got the same as that card. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help bring you guys together. So... It may be a Virgo trying to reach back out to you. <laughs> if you know someone in your family, my love, that is a um a Virgo, or if you know someone in your family that is a Cancer, maybe you're a Virgo. Maybe you have Cancer in your birth chart. But what I'm saying is, I think that for some of you, this is going to be a Virgo person, okay? What they and it may not have anything to do with love. This can be somebody from the past that may want to help you get your money together. That may want to help you invest in something. May want to help buy you a house, or it could be someone that is extremely sophisticated. You know, when I think of Virgos, I think of you know structure. You know, <laughs> very structured and very well organized. Some of them, anyway, right? But they can also be very critical. So be mindful, my love, that you are not being overly critical this season. Some of you will be getting back with an ex, okay? Or someone may try to get back with you, or you may be trying to reach out to the ex. Whatever way it goes, reconciliation is here. And I can confirm that with our goddess card here. So... Just so you guys can see that, that's undying love. The love that you guys have shared is internal. Okay? The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So no matter what happened, it's like, look, they're willing to forgive and forget and move on. And they may be asking you to do the same. Okay, so for some of you, when it comes to love, this is really going to be one hell of a season. When it comes to money or passion or whatever it is, you know, you can expect that somebody will want to probably most likely, most definitely want to help you invest in your business affairs or any type of passionate things that you love very, very much. Okay. For those of you that are wondering, hey, I'm single. What about me? I'm not in a relationship. I don't want my ex back. They did this. They did that, right? Yeah. For those of you that are just dating, true love is on the horizon, okay? Because look at look at this. Calling in your soulmate, my love. True love. For those of you that are capitalizing upon these different moon cycles, okay? Paying attention. You have been manifesting and praying and waiting and praying and doing spells or whatever it is that totally interests you, okay? For those of you that have been praying and wondering and waiting and trying to figure out what's going on with your love life, honey, they are here, okay? Yes, 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 yes. I love that. I, I love that they're actually here. Like, this person is here. Here. I don't know who it is. And I felt like even I felt like that even throughout the rest of the year. Like I actually felt that for you. Like even back in May or back in April, perhaps, I was talking about these things with you guys, about this one individual that just will not give up. Like they just won't walk away. Like they love you absolutely, right? And then it's always this person that is like trying to get you back. They keep texting you or calling you and trying to email you and reach out to you. Yeah. Be careful about that, okay? I feel like for some of you, I feel like this person can't even totally be trusted. And I also feel like for some of you, this person has actually hurt you. They have actually broken your heart. And 
you know, they were not too good of a person to you. Like, they were not. And a lot of you have really been trying to hold on to this person. Some of you will not let this person go. And for some of you, you don't want this person at all. You do not want this person. And so, for some of you, this is really about you just speaking your mind. You, Like I said, you had a lot of cards here talking about not backing down. Do not hold back. This is a time for you to be courageous, to be honest, to speak your truth. And no matter in what way it happens, it has to happen. You have to speak your truth. And you guys must know that. So overall, we know that love is definitely going to be like on the brain, okay? We know that love is going to be sticking around like crazy this season. So either somebody will get back to you, you will be trying to reach out to this person, or somebody wants to deeply have closure with you, okay? And for those of you that are single, watch out for that ex because it may not be totally what you expect. So around the 16th, like I said, when Mercury go retrograde, that is when you can start expecting all of these things to occur from the past. So whether this is a past situation, a past revelation, a past individual, a past relationship, whatever it is, something from the past is definitely working its way back to you, okay? And no matter what happens, the universe just wants you to know that you can make it through as long as you speak your mind and speak your truth. You should not be having a hard time with any of this, okay? Just stand up for what you believe is right. If you feel like, you know, I'm tired of this person manipulating me, lying to me, putting their hands on me, mistreating me, um, allowing their family to mistreat me, whatever it is, this is a time for you to really, really speak your truth, my love, okay? Just to wrap it up. Okay, so I love you, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share this message around the world because every Cancer needs to hear this message. I love you. Thank you so much for all your time and all your energy. Mwah. Bye.